folks, JD here, and today we're taking these two up. Now, <laughs> these two are juggernauts when it comes to quadcoptering and it comes to the hobby and it comes to photography, it comes to pretty much anything these guys can accomplish it. So what have we got? We've got the DJI Phantom 3 and we've got the DJI Spark. Now, wow, these two are absolute beauties. First of all, let's look at the Phantom 3. The Phantom 3 has a fantastic camera, 2.7K, absolute unparalleled quality. Its flight time is about 15 minutes. It has four massive brushless motors. It's capable of 25 miles an hour. Uh, all in all, this guy is really, really good. And on the other hand, we have this, the DJI Spark. This is the newest of the two, and this particular uh, quadcopter comes packed full of features to pretty much make flight um, not fully autonomous, but it's working towards that particular level where you tell the Spark where to go and it'll go and turn around and, and follow you and whatever else. So what are we comparing today with these two? Well, we're going to be comparing the cameras. This is going to be a pure, well, mostly pure FPV flight video for a total change. We are going to be taking this guy, uh, the Phantom up first, then this guy. We're going to be looking through those cameras, seeing exactly what they're like, seeing what the gimbals are like really put in the technology of the camera, the gimbal and the flight in one in this video. So I'm going to stop waffling, let's take her up. So first of all we're doing a bit of split screen. So we've got the Phantom on the left, we've got Spark on the right. So just getting used to the Phantom as it's been a while since I've taken this guy up. Just going to get a feel for it. Okay so as I say Phantom on the left, we've got the Spark on the right. The Phantom is coming in at 4.7k, the Spark is coming in at 1080p. Even though we've got a bit of colour difference, even though it was uh, filmed on exactly the same day, probably about three minutes or four minutes apart, you can certainly see that the Phantom's camera certainly looks a lot better to me than the Sparks does. Ah, oh, their air presence is fantastic. The Spark there just taking up the rear, just holding itself very true, and the Phantom just flying around. <laughs> I'm loving flying, flying both of these. Okay, so the Spark's going to just come towards us a little bit. Let me just re alter that camera angle slightly. Ah, both perfection. So yeah, these cameras, they're a little bit... Yeah, I certainly think the, the Sparks, uh, the, sorry, the, the Phantom's colour correction is better. The Sparks looks a little bit, I don't know, just doesn't, the colour does, just doesn't look right next to the Phantom. I never would have said that. I thought the Sparks camera was absolutely perfect when I flew her on her own. But certainly side by side, there's a definite difference. Amazing, amazing camera, amazing uh, presence in the air, and absolutely incredible flight. Um, even when you know when you let go of the, of the transmitter uh, analog, when you let go of the analog stick, and you see him breaking and then holding his position, really is a fantastic quadcopter. If you've got a chance to pick up one of these, I really would recommend that you do. Camera at 2.7k, as you saw. Uh, incredible shots, absolutely incredible shots. Uh, all in all, I like this guy a lot. But how does he compare to the Spark? Well, the Spark is small, it's nimble, it comes in its own carry case, it fits in my bag. Uh, <laughs> all in all, uh, the Spark is incredible as well. It, they are both fantastic quadcopters. But if I was to put them both side by side, what, which one do I think is a runaway winner? Well, it's this guy, of course. Uh, small, controlled by a smartphone, setup is so much easier. Fold foldable propellers, comes in its own carry case. The list goes on, absolutely goes on. So overall, even though the Phantom has the better presence in the air, I do prefer the Spark, hands down, any time of the day. So there you are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.